Hi, Trisha here, and in this video, we're going to look at using brusho. Uh, we're going to do a really fun painting with brusho and masking fluid. Really simple, really fun, and a little bit messy. Let's get started. project uh, we are going to use uh, masking fluid and brusho um, it's quite a fun project to do um, it's really interesting to see what happens with the brusho um, and we'll have a little talk about that in a bit um, but let's get ourselves sorted So what I've done is I've taken my template and I've just put some graphite on the back of it and I've traced it down onto my paper. This is a watercolour paper and it is uh, 300 grams. It's got a slight texture to it. Uh, and it's going to take lots of water. We're going to put a lot of water on this later. But first off, I've got this very light graphite sketch down. You might just be able to see it. And I am going to use some masking fluid. Um, comes in different colours. You can get a kind of, this one's obviously got a yellow pigment in. but And this one's got a blue in. Um, this comes out quite a creamy colour. This comes out a very light blue colour. Um, make sure do a little tester on your paper because sometimes the paper that you use doesn't take the um, the masking fluid very well and it takes the top layer of your paper off when you remove it you'll see in a bit okay I'm going to use this masking fluid um, it's a slightly creamy color um, You can see, ugh, see in the top there, that's what it turns into when it dries. So that's just like a dried skin of it. There, put that in the way. Um, I'm using my um, mapping pen here, or ruling pen, sometimes called, um, to, to do my lines, because I want very fine, thin lines. Um, and try and be as precise as I can. I don't know if you can see my sketch on there, but it is there um, from that template um, from my download sheet. Um, if you're interested in getting the, the different download templates, uh, they are available uh, from my website and on my Patreon page and uh, they come as a uh, a monthly download from a Patreon page. So you sign up and each month you'll get a different one and you've probably seen a few of them already. Uh, the uh, teacups and what else have you seen? Oh, I have to have a little think now. Um, oh, the bookcase. If you haven't seen those videos then do go and have a look
right there we go so i've kind of extended out because the original design is in is a circle so it's like a a little bit more like a logo feel to it so i've just extended a few lines out um i might add some little waves on some of these as well have got a bit of a, a hockey soya feel to them haven't they Right, so all I need to do now is I need to leave this to dry. Now some of it is already starting to dry, some of the finer areas. I'm just going to have a check over as I go. Um, it's a bit hard to see, but I'm just going to dot in anywhere where when it dries it's very fine. Um, it's fine for it to be a fine line, but I need enough that it will lift up, that it's not just sort of embedded into the paper. So I'll leave that to dry, uh, leave this to dry on here and I will peel it off at the end, but there we go, can you see? Um, and so that should dry now just to a, a sort of a rubbery line that I can peel off later. Okay, so my uh, masking fluid is pretty much dry, mm, yeah. I've got some tiny bits that aren't quite, but I'm very impatient, which is a bit naughty. I should leave it to dry, but the best bit is coming up. So we're going to use our brusho here. So we're going to use our brusho. Um, uh, this is a pack of 12. Uh, you can get different size packs and things. Um, and uh, they come in little pots like this um, I might I'll try and cut to something that shows you all the insides of them What I've done is I have, rather than um, taking the lids off and everything, I have put a hole in the top. So I've got a little bit of tape over the top just to cover it over. But I've got a hole in the top of mine um, just so that I can use it like a salt and pepper shaker. You only need a tiny little bit of the brush out. Eh? Um, and uh, so you don't want to go too mad with it and actually when you take the lid off it kind of poofs everywhere okay so uh brusho is um uh, just the pigments of for watercolor as such they are very staining so i wouldn't say they're the same as watercolor at all um in that they're more like um they're more like a dye um and so it's all the little crystals that um that are in the pot so it's a dry powder and what we're going to do is we're going to use um, a spray bottle to activate the pigment so i've got an ultramarine here and 
I'm just gonna shake it over there and I've got a turquoise here Leaf green, look at that. Does that look like a leaf green? Looks like orange, doesn't it? So it's really weird. And then yellow. Yellow, mm. and orange. here. I don't want to go too much with her. Just want to get that around the outside. Okay, so can you see that? Can you see all that little dust and everything on the surface? I'm going to take my spray bottle. I'm taking a small one. I do have this I mean it's not a massive one but this larger one but um, I can't control the spray so much and it will spritz the whole lot so I just want to go carefully so that you can see <gasps> what So be careful here because the more that you spritz you see here the more it will start running so can you see that green there that we put on that we said looked like yellow go in here now so I'm losing a little bit here but I kind of like that so let's make this bit around here a little bit wetter so that all merges and it flows that way <gasps> gone too much Okay, so I need to leave that to dry now. Um, I think I'll probably just bring a tissue along the edge here, but I need to leave that all to dry um, and then we'll come back and we'll take the masking fluid off. Our brush here is all dry now, as you can see, and we'll have a look at getting the uh, masking fluid off. I probably went a little bit too wet in some areas. Um, it's just here and here, it's just, uh, it's just blurred a little bit too much but never mind it'll be okay so I'm gonna start rubbing with my finger and whoop there we go it's going already uh, I do love this bit it goes a bit crazy I've got quite a strong line here so I think oh this there it is look at that so let's just give it a rub over be sure that you've tested your paper first before you even start this project because if not doing this quite hard like this is gonna rip your paper to pieces if it, your paper isn't the right type of paper for this um, there's nothing worse than going through all the process only to find that actually your paper isn't um, any good for taking masking fluid Look at that, right, use the masking fluid, see if I can pull off any odd little bits, but it's a 
looks pretty clear. Yep, get that. There we go. Lovely. Dun 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 done. Um, you could uh, fill in some extra areas if you wanted to, put some pencil on or wash in with some more inks or some more brush o in there, but I'm going to leave it like this. It's, uh, it's, it's quite a cool design, it really stands out well on this, and uh, yeah, quite pleased. Uh, it's very effective. Um, Really love to see you having a go with brush -o and masking fluid um, and love to see what designs you create. Um, so have a go and don't forget, post them onto the student chat room. You can find that on my website and everybody else can have a good look at what you're doing and what you've created. Um, yeah, can't wait to see the amazing things that you create. Thanks for watching the video and uh, definitely remember to like it <laughs> okay see you again on the next video bye i hope you've been enjoying the videos where i've been using the templates and just remember you can get the templates from my website or as a monthly subscription to my patreon page so pop over to either of those and uh, get your download